a lot of travel shows visit a lot of different places. What if you found one place so good you never wanted to leave? Well, we found that place. Dane, Dane motherfucking county. county. I'm Art. And I'm George. And combined, we've lived in Dane County for over 40 years. Again, I'm George. Here we are, uh, standing in front of Lake Mendota. Dane County's largest. And arguably best lake. Normally, we like to just stand here and throw bottles into the lake. It's one of our favorite pastimes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're all out of bottles today. But uh, maybe we can go get some later. What do you say? Drink a few Pound brews. Some brews. Yeah. We'll be back. <laughs> lake Mendota, which means Great Lake in the Dakota language, was once a pristine ecosystem with crystal clear water and host to an abundance of wildlife. But as modern industry has grown, so too is pollution and contamination. In recent years, agricultural runoff has tainted the lake, causing harmful algae to bloom in excess. But while this toxic slurry made the lake less hospitable to swimmers and fishermen, some locals believe the combination of chemicals may have created an ideal environment to foster the conception of a swamp monster. While the presence of the creature has never been verified, many eyewitnesses swear to have seen the affectionately named Frank the Mendota Marsh Monster. Folklore has it that Frank lurks in the depths of the murky waters, seeking out only the wealthiest of boats to wreak his unspeakable havoc upon. After which, it is said he distributes the riches to the poorest of lake fairs, acting as the Robin Hood of Lake Mendota. Although you're unlikely to encounter Frank, when embarking on a journey atop the Great Lake, we strongly recommend providing a token offering of new Coke or Crystal Pepsi to temper the marsh beast's thirst for human blood. We're on our way to uh, basically drive over uh, one, of, uh, one of our favorite dips around town. And basically that's just like a little dip in the road, kind of get a nice little feeling in the car. That's one of the things we love to do. Alright, so we're at an undisclosed location here in Dane County, about to go down uh, one of my favorite dips. Um, it's actually sort of a series of dips consisting of three dips over consecutive intersections. Uh, the second dip is definitely the most treacherous of the three. It's, uh, locals around here like to call it, uh, the Duchess of Crunch, because if you're going too fast or you got too many people in your car, you're definitely going to bat them out over this dip. <laughs> Alright, and there was the first dip, as you can see, not so big, and, um, you know, it's really the second dip that gets you. Which we call the Duchess of Crunch. <laughs> because if you don't have too many... You have the three. The Duchess of Crunch. Called here around here, the Duchess of Crunch. Here called Dead Man's Crunch. What if we found one place so good you never wanted to leave? I think it's that way a little bit. 